Went up the deficit and the comeback that was completed in the third period? Yeah, definitely. It was a big confidence boost to our team. I think we came into the uh, first intermission. Uh, I think a couple guys, you know, they had their heads down, but, you know, the older guys brought us back together, kind of came together as a team and said, hey, can't get any worse than this, so we just got to go out there, start finishing checks, get pucks in deep. And we didn't really test the goalie in the first period. Uh, we think we had a couple opportunities, but we didn't really get a chance to, you know, get anything going. I think we came out a little flat. So once we, you know, got that first one, you know, the floodgates started opening and started to, uh, you know, finally play like Harvard hockey. And then, uh, you know, I think they got that that fifth one to make it five to two. And I think they might have got a little bit too comfortable. And uh, you know, we already started coming back, and we weren't going to give up then. So we just, you know, kept kept fighting fighting pucks down deep in the corner and getting shots to the net and, you know, stuck together as a team, finished the body and, uh, you know, worked out for us, so. Coach said that you kind of been persevering all year, but the, the numbers in terms of goals haven't been there for you. Is it nice to finally feel that you're getting rewarded for, for what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, there's a couple opportunities. You, I mean, you might not bear down enough, but when you get those opportunities, you got to bury. Uh, I think. Last weekend, uh, we had a lot of opportunities to, you know, bury the puck, whether it was five on five or power play, or even penalty kill. We had the opportunities too. We just didn't capitalize, and uh, that's one of the things. You only get so many chances in the game, so when you get an opportunity to bury, you gotta, you know, take that opportunity and finish it. So uh, when you when you get a couple of goals like that, uh, you know, it's definitely one of those things. Uh, that was a high-scoring game, so you know you can't really give up goals of goals. You gotta keep fighting, keep going, and it was definitely one of those things that. Uh, you know, once we kept putting them in, I think, uh, you know, the train kept rolling, so. Did this make you think of uh, maybe some of the shootout games you had with the St. John's prep against Walden Castle and back and forth and stuff like that? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that, but, uh, yeah, definitely we had uh, some good games back then, and definitely there was a, you know, high-scoring game. Uh, it's one of those things where uh, even if you, you let one in, you, you, you're on the ice for that. You can't like get let it get to your head. You got to keep your head up and keep rolling because you know pucks are bouncing. There's uh, you know fluky goals here and there. Like I said, pucks are bouncing. You just got to get shots on net and uh, no sh any shots good in a game like that. And really any game uh, you know give or take. So if you keep shooting the puck, you never know what's going to happen. We had a you know a couple of those where you know Folly was flying down the right wing and just kind of threw one at the net and went through the goalie's legs. Uh, I'm not sure. If, Killer tipped it or not, but uh, it's one of those things you just got to get pucks on that, like I said, and uh, good things will happen. Was there a noticeable shift in the way they were approaching you guys after that first period? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. I think uh, we just kind of, like I said, came together, and it was one of those things where we need to change our game. We felt like, you know, when we make teams play our game, you know, that's when we're going to be successful, and we stray away from the uh, systems and uh, kind of the way we play our hockey, and that's when we, uh, you know, kind of fall behind. That's what we did. Uh, I think uh, we might have been a little too lax days go out there. And once we came together and finally, you know, we took care of the little things first in the defensive zone. And then if you put yourself in a good de defensive position, you're going to put yourself in a good offensive position. So that worked out for us. It seems like they had a really hard time breaking up the puck out, I think, especially in the second half of the third period. Yeah, we uh, we did well on, like, taking away the walls. They like to, you know, start their, their offense in their defensive zone. They have really good transition. And it was a you know, fast-paced game when it came to that. And, you know, our D were pinching up, our wings were playing really aggressive on the wall, and uh, they didn't see that in the first period, so that was one of those things where uh, we capitalized on it. At what point did you think you, the mindset went from let's make it disrespectable to we can win this game? Do you think it was after that fourth goal with five seconds left in the second period? No, I, I think it started, you know, from that first shift in the, the second period. Uh, we started off really strong, and we knew we weren't going to just, you know, die down and, you know, let them keep coming. We had to... Uh, you know, make our move. It was time to you know get over that first period, put it behind us. That's what we did. And we started banging, and banging the body down low, and getting pucks to the net. And once we scored that first goal, for us, I think that was a big goal to finally know. You know, that next goal, whether you go go down five nothing or four to one, it was a you know, huge momentum swinger. And definitely when we got the you know the third and fourth goals, that was finally where people started definitely believing the uh, hundred percent. And uh, I think we just kept rolling. So.